Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to check out a video by Akshat titled as Five Amazing Stocks at Great Buying Level After Today's Market Fall. Let's jump to the video. Hi everyone. So, very important development in the stock market that Finch, which is a rating agency, has downgraded US economy's rating, or more precisely, they have downgraded the rating of US debt. Now, this is turning out to be a big issue. A lot of panic has been created in the stock market. The stock market fell by 1%. People are panicking. Kya kya hoga. So, here are few very important summarized points that you need to know. Jo B. Finch ne bola hai, the reason for downgrading the US bond rating is the fact that they haven't shown fiscal prudence and aage chalke, it is expected that going forward, US is going to take even more debt. So, this is the reason for the fall in their rating. Now, this is obvious, right? I mean, the rate at which the debt has been increasing in the economy, it's not as if that this is a revelation, right? And people who understand about investing would definitely get this point. This is point one. Point two is the fact that the rally that you have seen over the last three or decades in the US stock market, even in Indian stock market, has happened because of money printing. That is a fact. I keep on explaining that entire economic funda on several of my videos. So it's not as if that money printing is going to stop and the stock market is going to fall. I keep on saying the fact that, see, fundamentally economy is in bad shape. This high debt problem in the world needs to come down and it will start coming down. So going forward, volatility ka issue rahega. That is definitely going to happen. This does not mean that the stock market is going to crash. In fact, it is going to create some value buying opportunities in my opinion. If you are buying things at a reasonable valuation, you are likely to do well. So please do not panic. That is the central message on this particular topic. I will come out with a detailed video. But for the time being, do consider watching this video entirely. I have discussed some value buying opportunities in relatively safe asset. So over to the main video. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So on today's video, I'm going to discuss six, seven stocks that are likely to outperform Nifty from this point. So as the Nifty moves from 19,500 levels, where we currently are, and it goes to 21,000 levels, during this phase, the following stocks that I'm going to speak about today, they are very, 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 very likely to outperform the Nifty. Number two, these are relatively safe stocks. Relatively safe means that these are clean companies, good companies, no fundamental problems, so they are relatively safe. Number three, the revenues and profits of all these companies that I'm going to speak about today, it is at an all time high. So these are good growth companies. So with that spirit in mind, let us kick start the video and do press the like button so that these type of videos reach out to more people. I know that you haven't pressed it. Please press it. And now let me very quickly explain one fundamental point and then I will delve deeper into stock specific conversation. See, the fundamental point is that the stock price and the fundamental performance of the stock, the revenues, profits are here, they are not like linearly linked. For example, these days a lot of companies are announcing their results and you might be noticing that results are very good, but the stock price falls. What we end up believing as normal retail investors is that you know what, a chill result saying, so the stock price will go up kharab results aayenge so the stock price will go down and it will happen like in tandem so it doesn't work that way let me show you two very quick examples here so the first example is of hdfc amc so you will see that up until last month the stock was just moving sideways almost like 30 40 percent return so here it was at 1700 levels now it is at 2500 levels so roughly 35 40 percent gains have been made Literally, in the last one, one and a half months. So this is part A and you will say, Aapko pata tha kya? Yes, I was investing a lot of money, my own money. Please go and check my commentary. I have been extremely bullish about HDFC, AMC and now it has started to give results from a stock perspective. But if you check the fundamental data, what you will notice is that sales have no problem. It's not as if that, you know, sales have been growing, right? And all good, good things have started to happen. Nothing. It was like three months back also, it was sitting at its highest ever profit, highest ever sales. Now also it's sitting on its highest ever profits, highest ever sales. But there was so much panic, that the competition has increased, you know, these 50 companies have come up, EMC companies have come up, this, that. Yeah. So if you keep on like absorbing every single piece of negative news, you will not be able to buy any stock. Now you might say that, okay, you are handpicking examples here. So, okay, so let me show you one more example of Ujjivan Small Finance. This is a part where I aggregated a lot of Ujjivan Small Finance last year. And again, you can go and check my videos. And unfortunately, what happened was that Ujjivan Small Finance got crushed right after I had made videos. But now if you check last one year performance, you will see that the stock has given 150% returns in the last one year alone. It's like crazy performance of Ujjivan Small Finance. Now again, if you do the same analysis that you have Small Finance ke fundamentals, take a look, right? Three months ago, six months ago, it was sitting on its all time high profits. 
ऑल टाइम हाई रेवेन्यूज देर वॉज नथिंग रॉन्ग विथ जी वन स्मॉल फाइनेंस एच डी एफ सी डी एम सी बट दी स्टॉक्स वर गिवन सो मच नेगेटिव कॉमेंट्री सो मच नेगेटिव कॉमेंट्री दैट यू नो एवरी वन स्टार्ट एड पैनिकिंग इवन विद लाइक फोर फाइव परसेंट फॉर्म सो द की पॉइंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू ड्राइव होम इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल की सी स्टॉक रिजल्ट एंड स्टॉक प्राइस डू नॉट मूव हैंड इन हैंड यू हैव टू हैव अ लिटल बिट ऑफ पेशेंस इफ टुमारो द स्टॉक्स दैट आई एम टू डिस्कस ऑन टूडेज वीडियो यू गो एंड बाय दैम टुमारो प्लीज डोंट स्टार्ट एक्सपेक्टिंग दैम टू मूव लाइक टू टू परसेंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट गेन एवरी सिंगल डे दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन यू हैव टू हैव पेशेंस सो इफ दैट पॉइंट इज क्लियर अगेन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड यू विल किक स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो हैज बीन स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई वेस्टेड विच इज अ वंडरफुल स्टॉक इन्वेस्टिंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन केस यू आर लुकिंग टू मेक इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन द यू एस विच आई वुड हाईली एनकरेज ऑल ऑफ यू टू डू द रीजन बी दैट इफ यू डाइवर्सिफाई आउटसाइड इंडिया आपकी रिस्क स्प्रेड हो जाती है द रिस्क ग्रेट स्प्रेड इट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हेज योर रेस्ट स्प्रेड योर रेस्ट बट डू चेक आउट द लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड कॉमेंट बॉक्स एंड यू कैन ओपन योर अकाउंट यूजिंग वेस्टेड बाय यूजिंग द लिंक फॉर अ स्पेशल बोनस इन केस यू आर कंसिडरिंग यू एस इन्वेस्ट सो विद दैट सेट लेट मी स्टार्ट डूइंग स्टॉक स्पेसिफिक कॉमेंट्री एंड लेट मी स्पीक अबाउट सेवन एट स्टॉक्स दैट आर लाइकली टू बीट निफ्टी फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट The first very safe bet at this juncture is HDFC Bank. What you will notice is that Nifty 50 has given in this current bull run, so to say, when the market has started giving aggressive return, it has gone up by almost 16.78 percent. Now, if you take a look at bank, because HDFC is a bank, it is one of India's leading banks. So, how much returns has the entire bank Nifty or bank index has given? So again, the data remains almost exactly the same, 16.8. So Nifty 50 has given 16.7, 16.8. Bank Nifty has given 16.7, 16.8. Now, बोलोगे कि यार इसको fairly price है, right? But see, the point is that banks or finance stocks have something called as higher beta. Now, beta means that if the market goes up by 100 points, by markets we mean if Nifty 50. goes up by 100 points then stocks or industries which have a higher beta higher volatility then nifty 50 is going to go up by slightly more or so let me explain that again so for example if nifty 50 goes up by let's say 100 points then an industry which is a high beta industry for example finance banks it should at least go up by 120 points and opposite happens when nifty falls that when it comes to high beta industries like tech or finance if nifty is going down by let's say 100 points then these high beta industries should go down by 120 points so the point i am trying to drive home is very very simple that see at least in this current phase or aap pichle 3 4 saal ka bhi data uda lo so it's not as if that bank nifty has outperformed the nifty 50 or the market despite banks slash finance being high beta industries so this is part 1 Part two is that let's delve deeper into the specific asset that we are talking about, which is HDFC Bank. So here is the run-up, and I am picking the run-up date from somewhere around March. So take a look at how much returns has HDFC Bank given from this point. So it has literally given six and a half percent returns. अब बोलोगे दैट एच डी एफ सी में कुछ कमी होगी रिजल्ट अच्छे नहीं होंगे वगैरह वगैरह ओके सो दे आर बीन एबल टू डबल दे आर रेवेन्यूज राइट इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स दे आर बीन एबल टू डबल ऑलमोस्ट डबल और मोर देन डबल दे आर प्रॉफिट इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स दे आर कंपाउंडिंग प्रॉफिट ग्रोथ हैज बीन मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट दे आर कंपाउंडिंग सेल्स ग्रोथ हैज बीन अराउंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो वाई इज इट दैट दी स्टॉक विल नॉट मूव येस इट माई नॉट मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर मंथ फाइव मंथ मे बी अयर बट वेन एवर इट मूव इट विल मूव सो फास्ट गो एंड री विजिट दी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एच डी एफ सी एम सी समथिंग लाइक जी वन स्मॉल फाइनेंस ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे मूव रियली फास्ट एज वेल सो ऐसे क्या आप करें हुए एच डी एफ सी बैंक में इट विल नॉट मूव सो इट विल ईजिली मूव नो डज इट मीन दैट एच डी एफ सी बैंक इज अ कम्प्लीटली रिस्क फ्री स्टॉक दे नो रिस्क एट ऑल सो सी रिस्क इज वेरी वेरी लो दैट्स पार्ट एक पार्ट बी द मेजर रिस्क दैट यू रन ऑन एच डी एफ सी बैंक राइट नाउ इज द रिस्क ऑफ टाइम करेक्शन टाइम करेक्शन मीन्स दैट इट विल कीप ऑन कंसॉलीडेटिंग इट माइट नॉट मूव फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑल ऑफ अस रिमेंबर दी स्टोरी ऑफ आई टी सी दैट आई टी सी भाई साहब हिलते ही नहीं था तो मीम्स बनते थे यू नो पीपल वर्ड पोस्टिंग मीम्स ऑन आई टी सी की जल ले लो ये ले लो वो ले लो राइट एंड आई टी सी डिड नॉट यूज टू मूव ओनली डिस्पाइट पोस्टिंग रियली गुड रिजल्ट बट वेन इट स्टार्टेड टू मूव इट मूव सो फास्ट सो फास्ट दैट पीपल मिस दी बस राइट सो दैट वॉज द पॉइंट विथ आई टी सी सो समथिंग सिमिलर माइट हैपन ऑन एच डी एफ सी बैंक आई कॉन्ट टेक दी गारंटी दैट इट विल मूव इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री मंथ्स और सिक्स मंथ्स बट आई कैन डेफिनेटली सेम और ऑलमोस्ट विथ नाइन्टी नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट श्योरिटी आई कैन से एट सी द स्टॉक शुड कंपाउंड एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट कैदर एट लीस्ट राइट ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट सम यू इज ऑलमोस्ट लेफ्ट सो फोर्टी फिफ्टी परसेंट रिटर्न ऑन समथिंग लाइक एच डी एफ सी बैंक 
can be made right this will happen and even from a technicals point of view if you see the stock so if you consider this long term channel this is the entire channel that is getting formed on hdfc bank it is in that bulk buying zone so if you consider this entire phase right ye yahan pe lage hota hai right so then you are definitely set to make like roughly 40 50% return on this stock which is very very safe it is very very likely to outperform nifty at this point so ye to hui hdfc bank ki now let me show you other set of banks because i made a video on best finance stocks where i discuss these three four stocks so i spoke about hdfc bank icici axis all these banks and some genius posted the comment ki ab sare bank khareed lo bahut badhiya baat hai if you actually just simply go and buy all the banks proxy could be bank nifty even that is fine but see some types of banks will always underperform for a bit compared to nifty some types of banks will outperform the nifty For example, if I just help you quickly consolidate that point, so कितने टाइप के बैंक्स होते हैं इंडिया में राइट सो देर इज लाइक समथिंग कॉल्ड एस स्मॉल फाइनेंस बैंक देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एस पब्लिक सेक्टर बैंक जैसे पी एन बी हो गया कैनरा वैनरा हो गया एंड ऑल दैट राइट एंड देन देर आर प्राइवेट बैंक्स राइट ना इफ यू स्टडी द स्टोरी ऑफ प्राइवेट बैंक सो आई स्पोक जस्ट नाउ अबाउट एच डी एफ सी बैंक दैट इट हैज बीन अगार्ड इट इज वेरी वेरी अनलाइकली दैट यू नो वॉट दैट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड एच डी एफ सी बैंक स्टॉक विल ग्रो एट ट्वेंटी परसेंट कि अगले छः महीने में बीस परसेंट हो जाए एंड आई सी आई सी आई बैंक जस्ट स्टेज एट लाइक यू नो टू परसेंट और थ्री परसेंट ग्रो इट विल नॉट हैपन उन्नीस बीस का अंतर हो सकता है मे बी लाइक सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी अंतर माइट भी देर बट इट्स नॉट एज एफ दैट यू नो वॉट इफ यू बाय ओनली एच डी एफ सी और आई सी आई सी आई और कोटेक इतना कोई डिफरेंस ही नहीं है बिजनेस में राइट आई मीन ऑल ऑफ देम आर रिलीजिंग देयर क्रेडिट डेबिट कार्ड सबके नेम ऑलमोस्ट सेम है एवरी वन इज ग्रोइंग देयर रेवेन्यूज प्रॉफिट्स इट्स अ हाईली रेगुलेटेड इंडस्ट्री सो इफ एच डी एफ सी बैंक इज गोइंग टू गिव अ ब्रेक आउट देन इट इज वेरी वेरी लाइकली दैट अदर सेट ऑफ सिमिलर बैंक फॉर एग्जाम्पल अदर सेट ऑफ सिमिलर बैंक में कौन से आएंगे प्राइवेट बैंक राइट एक्सेस हो गया आई सी आई सी आई कोटेक all of them are going to do well so you can play around with technicals now this is a point that i explain on my member community also so in case you are a serious learner about stock investing you want to invest put in your own money i explain all the things in a fundamental way almost every single day a post is done reviews have been excellent about this community and this has quickly grown on to become india's biggest investment community so if you want to join it do check the links in the description and comment box you will avail a lot of useful actionable information on that community many a times i cannot release a video very very fast it takes me 2 3 days to release a video most for editing this that but community post i can write very very quickly there are any recent happening so you are able to absorb all that commentary so do go and check out that community if you are a serious investor now here very quickly helping you understand the story of kotak mahindra bank so i will show you the fundamental data but let me first talk about the technical data so you can see that this is complex reverse head and shoulder that is getting formed there is nothing no movement that is happening outside this range right whenever this stock breaks this particular range so let me highlight this in a different color this blue color whenever the stock moves outside this range the total first gain that you will gain on this stock is roughly 22% now kotak mahindra bank you tell me in the comment box that is it like a very safe bank is it like a you know very complicated bank मैनेजमेंट नॉट गुड दिस दैट सो फंडामेंटल भी देख लेते थोड़ा बहुत सो इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट दी फंडामेंटल डेटा राइट देन द स्टॉक हैज ग्रोन एट अ फेयरली फास्ट पेस एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट की तो प्रॉफिट कंपाउंडिंग है सेल्स कंपाउंडिंग में द ट्रेलिंग ट्वेल्व मंथ हैव बीन एट थर्टी टू परसेंट सो इट्स नॉट एज एफ दट देर इज एनी स्पेसिफिक प्रॉब्लम विथ द बैंक द बैंक हैज डन फेयरली वेल दे हैव मोर देन डबल देयर प्रॉफिट इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स सो दिस इज अ बैंक दैट डबल्स एवरी फाइव ईयर्स दैट कैन बी सेट अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर बैंक क्लीन मैनेजमेंट there used to be a valuation problem so let me show that to you as well so if you check the internal pe of the stock at one point in time the pe of the stock was almost 45 before covid it was at 28 ke pe pe right now you are getting this bank at 22 pe so by no standards this is overvalued this is a simple bet when hdfc moves something like kotak will also move so if you have very less position on hdfc or kotak or icici or axis all these are good good bets according to me they are very likely to outperform nifty at this stage for the reasons that i have explained the next stock on my list is a company called as ui path it is a us based stock now there has been a lot of talk about ai or artificial intelligence industry a lot of vc money is coming into it i done a separate video on ai space you can go and watch it but see the story behind ai is still very much unknown we don't know what type of specific applications are going to get built when are they going to get built 
when are they going to get commercialized for example apple came out with its own headsets which are vr based headsets and in that okay bana liye hardware is there all that good, good stuff is there but software compatibility is there applications are there how many applications are there will people switch to those applications mass adoption hoga nahi hoga so the point is that technology in order to get adopted takes time right so it's an uncooked story again very very similar story to ev industry in india yes you might be seeing a few ev cars in india but the sale of ev four wheelers in india is still very very low compared to the sale of traditional four wheelers right so the point i'm trying to tell you is that yes it is true that one day all the conventional automobiles might get replaced by ev 100% right similarly a lot of applications will get replaced by ai but how long will it take right so beech mein aa jata hai right companies like ui path right so ui path is kind of a bridge between moving from where we are to where ai will take us right so what ui path typically does is something called as rpa or robotic process automation so in case you want to learn what exactly it is please take a look here you will be able to understand a bit more now let me present some examples of what typically the company does so this is a very good paragraph so you might read that software robots instead of people do repetitive and low value work like logging into application and systems moving files extracting copying inserting accounting wali cheeze hoti hai right which robots or intelligent robots can do are these completely ai yeah, the answer is no they are a bridge between what softwares currently are can you make softwares intelligent and then final stage will come jahan pe ai hoga that khud dimag laga ke machines can work on their own but right now we are in that phase already where rpa is a tried and tested type of a product so ui path is one of the leading players in that space this is point 1 point 2 that if you study the stock performance of ui path it has done nothing over the last 1 1 and a half years one year mein it has given negative returns if you take 6 months hardly any movement one month hardly any movement five day hardly any movement right so the point is that despite the ai stocks going sky high nvidia has you know given like a lot of returns bunch of other companies have given a lot of returns tech sector overall has given very high returns in the us but ui path is still sitting now this is good news and bad news good news is that the valuations are sensible right this technology is gaining more prominence no problem there and fundamentally the stock is at a reasonable discount and it is generating more and more business i have a problem bhi bataunga but let me first and foremost talk about the performance of financial performance of the company so it went from 336 to 600 then 600 to 900 so double to new hai like it is still very good growth problem with the company is that this is a loss making company right so kya hai to phir se startup story wali cheez ho gayi it loss making no See, there is a major difference between startups that lose money like crazy. They lose money like crazy because they are spending crazy amount of money in marketing or useless spending, so to say. But in case of UI Path, they are spending at least 20 to 30 percent of their entire revenues on to research projects, right? So developing IPs. So you can see this in R and D tab. So you'll see that here they are spending close to 20 percent. Here again 20 percent. Here again. almost like 25% here again 20% ke aas paas here again one third budget goes there so the point is that this company is actually building some proprietary material now this is definitely a much riskier option compared to the other options that i had spoken and will speak on this video so definitely you could consider building some because this is at a lower valuation risk as of now it has not moved agar is company mein kuch kami hoti to it would have fallen even more but it hasn't happened it is still waiting for positive news and whenever indications start coming that this company is going to turn profitable there will be a massive jump in the stock price so that is the spirit with which you need to analyze this particular stock now there are two big risks with this particular stock one is that big players like microsoft amazon apple they might build their own rpas right and they might spend a lot of money in house to automate a lot of stuff and offer it as a product suite to a bunch of other companies especially something like microsoft can make that happen that will disrupt the business of ui path and second is that we might leap frog innovation when it comes to ai based stocks so leap frogging innovation means ki fada fad bahut development ho jaye ai mein and we quickly reach a point where ai become really sustainable so from that perspective we might not need a company like ui path and the stock will get crushed so so samajh ke aap log invest kar sakte ho i have explained you both pros and cons now comes the third stock which is avas financiers i have been getting so much heat about this stock lately yeah talk about like avas financiers not doing 
like we how long will I have to be patient this that okay so let me quickly speak about it that what are the pros and cons of Avas Finance yes let me start the story by talking about the numbers of Avas so if you study the revenue performance highest ever revenues is it a profitable company very much profitable in fact the company is growing at like doubling its profit almost every single year so to say right so yeah you can see this right by this analysis it cuts all over the media but mostly it has been able to grow its profits at a record pace so to say right and at what valuation are you getting it right now right so if you study this right you will clearly see that the stock had made its peak at 3000 rupees right now it is at 1600 so almost 45 47 percent correction has happened on the stock already from its stock one could argue that it is possibly still overvalued this that but see if you study this level right when was this last available this was available somewhere in 2019 with the price that right now you are getting this stock at this point almost ipo ki price of mil raha hai after so much price discovery five years generating constant profits constant revenues then comes the natural question ki bhai sir ho kyun nahi raha hai right I and mean, why is it not moving okay so there is a very interesting kind of a theory here so let me explain the downside of it also you will see that FIIs have increased their holding, DIIs have also increased their holding, promoters have cut their holding, okay? So many times I get the question, yeah, promoters have cut their holding, so it's coming over stock, mein. therefore promoters have cut the holding, okay? Who are the promoters? So go and check. So two major partners have cut, right? So this is Lake District and Partners Group. So if you study these promoters, you will get some info. And this news was three years back. So it's not as if this is like latest cut. So Avas Finances PE Promoter, Partner group sells share worth 361 crores, right? And okay, great, they have sold it, but whom have they sold this equity to? So you see that Namura, which is a very big company, it has bought these funds. So it's not as if that these holdings went to weak players. So promoters cut their holding for a wide range of reasons. For example, in Avas's case, this promoter, which is partner groups, it's an investment company. Now they might find better reinvestment opportunities. They might not want exposure to emerging markets. They might not want exposure to housing sector in which Avas is operational. So there can be hundred reasons why this promoter might have cut their holding. Had it been the case that promoters are constantly cutting their holding, which and all that stuff, then it's a different issue. But as of now, it doesn't look like that there is something off from an investor holding point of view. Now, if we study the stock from a technical point of view what you will realize is that see this type of accumulation pattern is getting built it is likely to go like this right i mean from this point this is how it should ideally rise and then there might be a massive breakout here so this is what i assume that the stock is likely to do from a technical viewpoint so now comes the natural question that what would be the trigger points and the risk so first risk is the technical risk that the stock is unfortunately in a downtrend right so this is not changing changing per se or not any major indication has come that this has changed to say so this is the first technical drawback and if you have a very short holding period no point in getting into Havas financials second key point is that see Havas financial type of stocks where do the deal or do business in? so basically they give like home loans to low and middle income class now when will middle and low income class start taking more home loans when the interest rate comes down right now you have seen that if you go and take a home loan from HDFC no no but this person yeah 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 person will try and what not right so it is very fairly high the entire home loan premiums are fairly high why because the interest rates haven't been cut they have somewhat peaked one could argue but they have not been cut so the moment indication comes please notice the word when the indication comes not that interest rates cutting you know the avas finances will give enough no even if the market starts believing the story that interest rates up to 100 percent cut me right so the moment that happens something like avas finances is going to benefit a lot now can i give you in writing when interest rates will be cut no i don't know when the interest rate will be cut but yes we have almost peaked in terms of interest rate it is unlikely that interest rates will be risen from this point quite aggressively if at all most likely indication is that these are going to get cut maybe it will take three months six months nine months i don't know but whenever that indication comes something like avas finances is going to go up like crazy and you will have a very hard time putting your money on it trust me on this that if you don't buy a stock when it is available for cheap you will not have the courage to start buying it when it keeps on going up at 5-5 percent every single day right so that is the basic point that i want to come to okay so the next stop on my list is sbi cards very very simple again i'm getting the same question they are impatient over it, right i'm sbi card 3 right and returns are not being made what to do right 
कितना गिर गया इसलिए कर रहा है इट्स ओके लेटेस्ट सी वेन आई स्टार्टेड बिल्डिंग पोजिशन एंड हाउ मच इट एज फॉलन सो आई बिल्ड पोजिशन समवेयर हियर सो इवन इफ यू आर एट अ लॉस इट्स नॉट एज एफ दैट यू मस्ट बी एट अ ह्यूज लॉस ए दैट्स पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू प्लीज नोटिस दैट सी द कंपनी आई पी ओड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इट्स वॉज अ वेरी टबल टू अस फेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी से ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एक्सट्रीमली वॉलेटाइल मार्केट इन इंडिया ऑन एन एवरेज सो प्राइज डिस्कवरी ऑफ एस बी आई कार्ड हैज हैपन एट द टाइम ऑफ आई पी ओ द प्राइज वॉज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी राइट नाउ इट इज एट एट हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी सो इट्स नॉट एज एफ की बहुत धमाल हो गया नथिंग फ्रॉम अ प्राइस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज गॉन अप इन्फ्लेशन गोज अप फाइव सिक्स परसेंट एंड ट्वेंटी 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 वन मिला लो तो आठ दस परसेंट के आसपास आएगा क्यूमुलेटिव सो फ्रॉम दैट परसेंटेज ऑल्सो इट्स नॉट इवन बीटिंग इन्फ्लेशन राइट एंड हैव द रिजल्ट बीन बैड सो द शॉर्ट आंसर इज नो एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट द रिजल्ट हैव नॉट बीन बैड राइट सिंस इट हैज आई पी ओ सो यहाँ पे आई पी ओ हुआ था भाई साहब फोर्टी परसेंट तो ग्रोथ हो गई है राइट इन रेवेन्यूज राइट वॉट अबाउट प्रॉफिट्स प्रॉफिट्स डबल हो गए हैं तो फिर क्यों रोना बचा हुआ है कि यू नो एस बी आई कार्ड बढ़ेगा नहीं बढ़ेगा नहीं ओके डू यू थिंक दैट पीपल विल स्टॉप यूजिंग क्रेडिट कार्ड डेबिट कार्ड बिकॉज अक्सर श्रीवास्तव इज टेलिंग पीपल नॉट टू यूज क्रेडिट कार्ड डेबिट कार्ड नहीं कुछ नहीं होने वाला पीपल आर स्टिल गोइंग टू यूज क्रेडिट कार्ड डेबिट कार्ड लाइक क्रेडिट राइट सो वो बढ़ेगा ही बढ़ेगा बिजनेस इट्स ऑलरेडी ग्रोइंग एट वन ऑफ दी फास्टेस्ट रेट सो आई एम जस्ट रिकॉलिंग फ्रॉम मेमरी दैट क्रेडिट कार्ड और डेबिट कार्ड ग्रोथ रेट हैज बिन समवेयर अराउंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कैगर इन इंडिया विच इज वेरी वेरी हाई सो इन एनी इंडस्ट्री वेर दी ग्रोथ रेट इज मोर देन फिफ्टीन परसेंट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हेल्दी ग्रोथ रेट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री even if the company does nothing it just does not expand branches does not do much right it just maintains where it is then also 5 saal mein company double ho jayegi because the industry size is growing right so that's the simple math that you need to understand i personally see no reason why sbi card as a company should not double from this point it's at a very very fair valuation koi bhankar on apni hua hai especially given the fact that The company has done wonderfully well in terms of revenues, profits. Strong brand. They do lunch with it. They lunch with it. They have found the gold. There's no other thing. Go to airport. You will find SBI card. At least I personally find a lot of SBI cards kiosks. And those people are very diligent. I don't know what incentives they are giving. That those people are very diligent in terms of pushing you to buy cards, right? An average American has four or five credit cards on an average. So India में तो अभी एक भी नहीं है, right? So this number is only going to grow. वो तो होगा. Do I personally support, right? You should use credit cards like crazy. No, please don't do it. Honestly, downside risk on SBI cards. I do not see much downside risk from this stage on something like SBI cards. पूरा मार्केट ही गिर जाए तो बात अलग है राइट बट नेट नेट आई थिंक एस बी आई कार्ड इज गोइंग टू डू सो आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस मोर स्टॉक्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई थिंक आई रन आउट ऑफ टाइम सो आई डिस्कस वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट स्टॉक विथ ऑल ऑफ यू इट इज लाइटली कॉन्ट्रेरियन राइट विच यू माइट नॉट एट थॉट ऑफ रेस्ट ऑफ द स्टॉक्स आई विल डिस्कस ऑन माई मेबर कम्युनिटी टैप टुमोरो एंड यू कैन आस्क मी क्वेश्चन देर ऑन मेबर कम्युनिटी टैप इन केस यू आर इंटरेस्टेड आई विल आंसर फोर्टी फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन ऑन मेबर कम्युनिटी टैप टुमोरो एसोसिएटेड विद दीज क्वेश्चन सो द फाइनल बेट ऑन विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी बिल्ड सम पोजिशन इज अ कंपनी कॉल्ड एज Rajesh Exports company is it doing well and what it exactly does i had done a video also on it earlier so see it deals almost into end to end chain of gold right it refines gold it processes gold it makes gold jewelry it exports majority of the business for rajesh exports comes internationally please take a look here now the good part is that the revenues of the company has been consistently growing for the last 5 years the profits have somewhat stagnated aisa kyun kyunki in the export mein there has been problems not only in gold export 